And now on to our dinosaur of the day, which has nothing to do with ceratopsians. <laughs> Enough about ceratopsians. Or ornithopods, for that matter. Yeah. It's a titanosaur. Ooh. <laughs> Getting the sauropods in. <laughs> this one is Diamantinosaurus, which was a request from Porter Venador via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. Is it spooky with that ooh? No, like awe-inspiring. Oh. <laughs> Finally got to the sauropods. It's like the, the horns of triumph. It's what we've been waiting for. <laughs> 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 so Diamantinosaurus was a titanosaur. It lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Australia, found in the Winton Formation. It looked like a compact, sturdy sauropod. It had a long tail, it walked on all fours, but it didn't have a particularly long neck. It was medium-sized for a sauropod, estimated to be about 52 feet or 16 meters long and weigh up to 28 tons. One subadult found was about 49 feet or 15 meters long and weighed between 20 to 22 tons. It had a broad pelvis and a wide stance, as well as stout arms and thumb claws, which was an unusual feature for a titanosaur. It also had a rounded lower jaw. They're thinking that it stripped off its food. It didn't chew it. It could eat at least three feet or one meter above the ground. That's really impressive. Well... It's probably more like it ate 20 to 23 feet or 6 to 7 meters above the ground. So that is impressive. That is better. It's not clear exactly what it ate, though. It is the best-known sauropod from the Cretaceous from Australia. The type species is Diamantinosaurus matildae. It was described in 2009 by Scott Hocknell and others. The genus name means Diamantina lizard, and it refers to where it was found, near the Diamantina River. The species name comes from the Australian song Waltzing Matilda, which was written by Banjo Peterson and Winton in 1895, and according to the paper that named Diamantinosaurus, it's, quote, one of Australia's national songs, and Winton is known as Matilda country. <laughs> I think we saw the piano that that song was written on yes. in Winton. And I think we heard that song a lot while we were in Winton. <laughs> the holotype of Diamantinosaurus was found near Australovenador, and it included part of the shoulder, arms, hands, ribs, part of the pelvis, and right leg. And the fossils were found at the Matilda site near Winton in Queensland, Australia. The holotype is nicknamed Matilda, which might not be too surprising. When it was discovered, Diamantinosaurus was the first sauropod named from Australia in more than 75 years. And then more specimens were found later, including vertebrae, part of the feet, skulls, and more. Other specimens found have been nicknamed Alex, Oliver, and Anne, because when you're talking about specimens found in Australia, they all have nicknames. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> We have talked about Anne before in episode 441. It was the newly discovered nearly complete skull, the fourth Diamantinosaurus specimen found, the second skull found, and the most complete sauropod skull found in Australia. So Anne was kind of a big deal. Yeah, especially when you combine it with what we know about Diamantinosaurus from other finds. Yes. And also show that Diamantinosaurus is closely related to Sarmientosaurus, which lived around the same time and at a similar paleo latitude. Dinosaurs, they might have moved between Australia and South America through a land connection via Antarctica. Antarctica has been coming up a lot lately. Mm -hmm. Then there's Oliver, who's a juvenile specimen. And Oliver was the smallest sauropod specimen found in Australia, weighed almost five tons. Oliver helps show that titanosaurs did not grow isometrically equally. Its long bones grew faster than other parts of its body. Allometrically, one might say. Hmm, <laughs> good call. <laughs> uh, Oliver had narrower limb bones, and that helps show that the limb bones diamantinosaurus grew thicker as the dinosaur grew up, probably to help support its weight. Now, being in the Antarctic Circle, they may have lived through winters with long periods of darkness. Well, they probably did. Mm -hmm. Unless they could walk out and back, mm. which is possible. But was it worth it? <laughs> Maybe not. Diamantinosaurus lived alongside crocodilomorphs, fish, turtles, mollusks, pterosaurs, and insects. And other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place include other sauropods like Winton and a Titan. Savannosaurus and Ostrosaurus, and Ankylosaurians and Hypsilophodonts. 
You can see fossils of Diamantinosaurus at the Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum of Natural History in Winton, Queensland. You can see the holotype there. We've seen it. In the holotype room. Yeah. That's it's, pretty cool. It is. Yeah, you can see a bunch of holotypes there. Not just of Diamantinosaurus. And Diamantinosaurus is also on an Australian specialty coin from 2022 and on stamps. And that was even before they had that new skull this year. Yeah, true. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 